all right, our kid. I've got some strikers for you. Just a precursor. Not really got a lot to say about Harlan and Salah. I think everyone's either got them or wants to have them. So just to bear that in mind, just a couple of suggestions for this coming week. Um, Havertz, um, I know that you know he's not scored big points so far, but I think they're coming. Um, leads the line, looks dangerous. He's going to continue to lead the line for Arsenal. Also, Champions League starts in game week four. So bear that in mind. Um, and he's also scored in his last two against Brighton. Now, Wissa, um, Southampton, last time they played, he scored. Got a goal on his opening day. He's really cheap. If you want to free up some money for, you know, quite an expensive midfield, lots of good midfield options at the moment, he could be your man. Um, and finally... Isak, again, people will have been thinking, ah, should I get, get rid of this old bastard and free up some money? But five in his last four against Spurs. And um, yeah, I think he's, I think you want to hold and see what happens because he could score. Um, this is recorded before the League Cup and um, I have seen that he is playing tonight. So keep an eye on that as well. Um, yeah. What are you lot doing here? I suppose you want some transfers for game week three then, dear. All right, well, I'm looking at the Aston Villa Leicester fixture to start with. A um, couple of short term picks for you. Looking at the last two games, Leicester conceded uh, 20 corners. Um, yeah, first two games. So I think Aston Villa can exploit that considerably. Um, Tielemans. He's averaging 7.5 points per game from the first two fixtures. And, uh, you know, he's great on the dead ball. He's going to enjoy the situations they're going to give him. You know, Leicester spent £32 million on him uh, back in 2019. I can see him having some joy there. And I can see the wardrobe, Onana, getting on the end of some of them set pieces. So, uh, yeah, short-term options there. But uh, I think real good ones um, for this weekend. Now, long-term, we're also looking at Villa. Um, you know, game week three to game week ten, got some real favourable fixtures. And uh, let's talk about Rodgers. Fantastic against Arsenal, passed the eye test, you know, just looks really confident. And I think big points are going to come his way, and uh, now the fixtures are changing. Don't forget the Champions League draw this week as well. So, um, yeah, can see, uh, can see him picking up some good points and some good price rises in the next few weeks. Um, two and a half million pounds for Rodgers money well spent a good enabler right Bournemouth they're off to Goodison Park this weekend um, Semenyo last weekend against Newcastle he was absolutely flying um, got a 0.3 million price rise last week he will rise again priced at 2.8 and uh, in the first two fixtures he's he's pulling up um, big stats 1.65 expected assists from the first two games uh, 2.66 XGI and 16 shots and key passes, um, you know, he's ticking all the boxes. You know, for the more premium choice, look no further than Cole Palmer. You know, Chelsea now are going to be going on a very good run of fixtures. Um, I think he's the only one who's going to be in that squad. You know, he, he's, he's got his position down. No one's touching Cole Palmer's, Cole Palmer's spot. Last week, you know, 19 points against Wolves. One goal, beautiful, classic Cole Palmer um, finish and uh, just the three assists. Coming up against depleted looking Palace defence, I want Cole Palmer in my team and uh, I also want to captain him. Anyway, good luck for the weekend, good luck for your transfers and uh, yeah, we'll catch you, we'll catch you soon. Hey Rook. Yeah, Rob here of Inter Dream Team going for a Game Week Free's best goalkeeper and defender options for you. Um, looking at the keepers, Leno of Fulham, £3 million they got Ipswich away. He was the fifth best keeper in the game last year. Um, racks up a lot of points um, for a team that don't keep that many clean sheets. So just a good long-term, Simon says, pick for you. McCarthy of Southampton is interesting. It's worth noting that he's the only starting goalkeeper underneath the £2 million bracket at the moment. And uh, he got a small rise of 0.1. Uh, in game week one off two points, got five points in game week two. So uh, I expect a small rise from him on that. Again, with the defenders, I'm looking at Fulham, uh, going down the Fulham route again. We're looking at the 
the Inter Dream Team favourite Robinson. He hits a lot of the metrics, gets a lot of tackle points, bonus points, got an assist last week. Um, 13th best defender in the game last year. 3.1 million. Another good, Simon says, you know, long term, keeping your team hold. And uh, also worth noting that Timber, Timber of Arsenal, um, started against Aston Villa, 3.4 million. Um, like I say, could be an interesting one if he nails down that left back slot, faces some stiff competition, but could be a great route into that monster of an arse defence. And the captaincy this week, obviously I'm looking at the big two, Salah and Haaland, but also worth noting that Isaac has got a superb record against Tottenham. He has scored four goals in three games against them and they play at St. James's Park. So it's all gravy. Yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. 